Here's how to put text behind the person in Canva Pro. Let's jump on in. First, I'm going to show you how we can do this if we just have a single color background. And then after that, I'm also going to show you how you can put text behind a person on basically any photo. So let's start with a single color background. Now, for this purpose, we go to background here in the left sidebar. And then we just choose a single color background here from the top. In this case, we're going with black. Now we press T on the keyboard to add some text to our canvas. I will just make it a little bit bigger. And let's adjust the text. Now we're going to duplicate our text box. We can do that by pressing and holding ALT on our keyboard and then simply left click and drag. And this will duplicate our text. I'm going to adjust this text now to GOAT. Now we need our person. So we go to photos here in the left sidebar. And in Canva Pro, we can make use of the background remover. So this means that basically for any photo that we have right here, we can easily remove the background by using Canva's background remover. So let us add the desired picture to our canvas by simply clicking on it. Now it almost looks like the background here for this picture has already been removed. But that is actually not the case, it's simply because our background here has the exact same color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to left click on our person right here. And then on top we click on edit photo. And select BG remover below. This now removes the background of our image right here. Next right click on the person. Then go to layer and select bring to front. Our subject is now on top of our text right here. Now all that is left for us to do is to reposition our person to the desired position. And maybe reposition our text as well. And I will make it a little bit smaller here. Maybe something like that. Great. Now let's have a look at a more complicated example where we're going to work with a regular photo or image that doesn't just have a solid background. First of all, we're going to photos in the left sidebar. And then we click on the photo that we would like to add to the canvas. Now just right click on the photo and select set image as background. Now what we're gonna do is we go to photos again. And once again, we add the very same image. Next, make sure that your copy is selected and then go to edit photo on top and click on BG remover below to remove the background of the image. This is how it looks like right now. Now the secret to get text behind our person right here is to simply make our cutout right here the very same size as we have it here in our original picture. And then we can simply put our text between those two layers. So let me first add the text again by pressing T on the keyboard. I will make this bigger and I will adjust the text to MBA Make this bigger again. I'll just reposition this here for a second. Now let us put that maybe something like this here. Next, we're going to duplicate this text box by pressing and holding Alt on our keyboard. And then we just left click, hold and drag. Now I'm going to change the text here to GOAT. Okay, I have to use this handle here to make sure that everything is on one line. I will make it a bit smaller maybe. Probably something like that. And the final step for us now is to make our copy here the very same size as we have it right here. So I can simply put that over the other guy like that. And then I'll just adjust the size until it fits. Just put it over it like this. Okay, it's still too small, so I'll make it bigger. And now that we adjusted our image, all that is left for us to do is to reposition our text and make sure that it is behind our copy. So I will just move this to the desired place here. Probably something like this. And then to layer it behind our copy right here, we right click on it. We go to layer. And then we click on send backward. And just like that, we put our text behind the person here. And now we're going to do the same with our go text. So I select it. And then I right click on it. Hover over layer. And we select send backward. And now once again, our text is now behind our person. Perfect. If you have problems with the layering, you can always left click on your canvas and then go to position on top. Then select layers right here. And you will then see all the different layers right here. And you can then move the layers around from here as well. 
In this list here, the layer at the bottom always represents the background, whereas the layer that you have on top here represents the layer that is on top of everything else. So, as an example, if you would like to move the NBA text in front of the person again, then you would simply left click and hold and then drag this to the very top. And as you can see now, it is now in front of our person again. Using this layers menu here is usually not necessary, however in some cases it can be much easier to move layers around here instead of doing that directly here on the canvas. So if you're struggling with layers, it's always a good idea to open up position and then go to the layers menu right here. And that's it guys, this is how you put text behind a person in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.